name is Miles Brower, but everybody calls me Tails. I hate him when he doesn't listen to me. Sonic actually asked me for the first time to do something for him. I won't let him down. I won't give up. What have you done to Sonic? I'll never forgive you for this. What are we going to do, Sonic? It's hard to keep up with Sonic. Making robots is the same as breaking them. I'll do my best. I'm going to fly circles around you. It may not look like it, but I have been training with Sonic. When we turned to look around, the race was over and we already won. Uh, are you talking to the broken robot who can't hear you? Well, I'm totally pleased and a little nauseous. I grabbed a bite at the bucket of sushi. Ugh, his cruelty knows no bounds. Good job to you on inventing a translator that allowed us to speak to the aliens and figure out exactly what we needed to do so we weren't running around the park looking for idiots. Oh, no, wait. That was me. <laughs> Thanks, Sonic. I thought I was dead, floating without a body in a black limbo. <laughs> I'm going to have nightmares for weeks. Wow, you weren't kidding when you said soon. I thought you already left. Mm, not to me, but this place looks like something sucked all the life and color out of it. Totally strange. Not getting fired would be nice. I built a TV out of paper clips and reprogrammed a supercomputer using dishwashing detergent and a toothpick. So look, fixing a propeller on a biplane? That's about as difficult as taking a nap. Well, there you go, folks. The motion has passed unanimously. Sorry I got stuck with a voice chip that looks like it was built by a two-year-old. In hindsight, I have to agree with you, Doc. Thanks for the save. Um, can you get off of me now? <laughs> it's good to see Annie, Sonic. <laughs>